I think it's fair to say that over the last few months on BBC Breakfast, we've had to report some harrowing news, including yesterday's fire at Grenfell Tower in West London. Of course, we are going to continue coverage of that, but we also wanted to bring you something else this morning. As part of the BBC's Music Day, we wanted to show you how the power of music is being used to make a difference to patients at a hospital in Manchester and the medical staff looking after them. Our entertainment con correspondent, Colin Patterson, has been taking a look. This is not how a hospital high dependency unit normally sounds. But at the Manchester Royal Infirmary, it's becoming a regular event. Since last July, professional musicians have been brought in to play for patients. And it's easy to see the sheer joy it brings. I found myself in intensive care unit and I found that experience quite, quite traumatising. It was the idea of Helen Ashley Taylor. Her whole hospital stay was transformed by a snatch of choral music on a TV set. That moment I felt alive again. It was transformative. Um, I didn't feel isolated anymore. I didn't think about my condition. I didn't think about pain. I didn't feel any pain. It was just quite incredible. It was lovely. And that's all I could talk about when I left the hospital. Already a volunteer for music in hospitals, she decided to set up ICU here to take music into intensive care units. And it's proved to be a big hit. It's soothing. Music's good for you. It's making a difference. I, I don't want to stereotype you, but you were in a motorcycle crash and you've got some rather big tattoos. Are you a fan of the hard rock? No. I used to be into hard rock years ago uh, when I had a lot of hair. <laughs> and the staff approve of the musical accompaniment. It's quite a nice moment, actually, when the music's playing and the patient can just be calm, because it is quite stressful. And to show how much music has become part of the hospital, the day after the Manchester bomb, clarinetist Rachel Philhart, a regular here, helped out in the way she could, by playing in intensive care. I know that this can be quite settling for the staff. I often have feedback saying that's just what we needed, so I offered to come in if it was appropriate. One of the nurses said, this has been a horrible week and this is just what we needed today. And one patient, Jacqueline, told me that having music played by her bedside could make her whole day better. It's wonderful. It's lovely. The music is, to me, music is really good for the healing. The power of music. Just how powerful can music be? It can move mountains, can't it? and it can move people's hearts. Don't have me crying. And it can move, right, can do wonders. Colin Patterson, BBC News, Manchester Royal Infirmary. Colin there hearing about the power of music as part of BBC Music Day. And you can find out more about the events which are happening where you live at bbc.co.uk forward slash music day. It's time to get the news, travel and weather where you are. We'll see you shortly.